today on Hey We're Talking. In West Philadelphia, I was born and raised. The playground's where I spent most of my days. (laughs) Chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. There were a couple of guys that were up to no good. They started making trouble in the neighborhood. (laughs) I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. Thanks, Scott's mom. (laughs) (laughs) On Hey, We're Talking. Welcome to Hey, We're Talking. It's Friday. You know what? I just decided we're just going to keep doing it. We can say the day, the day that we do it. Screw it. Oh. Why would we Why would we not? Why would well, you not say Well, originally we Friday? weren't doing it because it was on other things and they were going to play it on different days. But you know what? Listen, the, the curtain has been moved. Everyone knows that it's not actually the day that we're talking that things are happening unless we start doing live stuff like on facebook or youtube or whatever this is the the day the day we're recording this is not the day that it's on okay that's the end of it you mean we don't record these the same day they're released no no we do not i hadn't i had no idea no. i didn't either i don't know why scott's got to lie to the listeners <laughs> telling us just that to, it's a just had to put it out there the mystery has been revealed are you saying it's like eight days before this show's going up onto the various <laughs> very platforms? Possible that there is eight days between this and when it actually is. On. How, why would you let our listeners deal with that? Every movie and show that is, rec- you know, they watch is live, happening right now. Right. right. So why would? Never mind. So uh, those two gentlemen that are pretending to not know the truth are Derek Tant and Bob Peel. I never claimed to know the truth. The truth is out there, just so you know. Do you know that yeah. I need the little X Files? You know who that had is. that as their like? Um, I think it was Jimmy on his uh, phone when he would vox us. It would just be like really loud, like super yeah, that was like- over loud. Yeah, that was like his text message or something. Do you guys find that funny though? Sometimes you'll like be at a doing whatever, and then somebody has just this loud, obnoxious, <laughs> horrible sounding ringtone yes. or text thing, and it's like, really, dude, you're that guy. <laughs> I, so, so one of our listeners, listeners of the show, his name is Jake, and he's a preacher. Uh, so I, I messed with him about this. He made a he was preaching and had a very good point. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was one of those points where he emphasizes something and then gives it a moment to let it linger for, you know, for it to set in before he goes on to his next point. And he he did that a few weeks ago and he he emphasized his point. Boom. Put it down for everybody to hear. And then somebody's ringtone of crickets started <laughs> chirping, <laughs> <laughs> which is it like was, the worst I saw I, there's a TV show. Oh yeah, I've been watching Ozark on uh, Netflix. By the way, it was he. Watch it. He didn't. I mean, he didn't miss a beat. I mean, he was dead on. He just continued on and nobody ignored. laughed. Well, I think some people you laughed, but to. then af- after the fact, I brought it up to him, and I'm like, dude, those crickets were timed <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> it was it was kind of one of those funny things, but it always makes me laugh when people have those obnoxious, Why horrible. Why do people use crickets as their ringtone? The Jason who, Bateman character on Ozark has that's his ringtone. Derek, did you watch that? Have you watched it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a great show. Isn't that but, silly that his thing is like grr, 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 and you're like, why is that a ringtone? I don't remember the ringtone. I it's been a few months. Okay. I did know a guy who had a rattlesnake rattle for his like text message alert, and that was and it's it was loud and it sounded realistic, and, and so, so everybody was like, ah. But, I was like, because you live in kinda, Texas and there are rattlesnakes. I love there it are. when you hear the ones that are like shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, really? Yeah. Really, dude? Come on. That's not even, I mean, that's not even, doesn't even sound real. Yeah. 
I have uh, ACDC's Back in Black as my ringtone, usually. Not because I'm particularly in love with the song. I just, that, you know, da, 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 it just sounds good when someone's calling. Mine's used, just a ringtone. Yeah. You don't I, have, I like, to... a standard phone ring, do you? No, it's whatever's default. Oh, geez. Derek, tell me you don't have default. Uh, and I, I, I picked one that... But it was in the list. It was like yeah, in the default whatever, list. Yeah, it, it yeah. might, it might be the. Play, you guys call both me? need to play him. Who do you want me to call first? Oh, call I was me. gonna, I was gonna call Derek. Call me. Yeah. Okay, call Derek, Bob, and then I'll call you. Call me. I got the ringer on. What a show we have for you guys. We're I, listening to people's <laughs> ringtones. By the way, these guys could just play their ringtone through settings, but we have to call each other. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. Let me see. Just tap I, on I, the one that you have. I didn't know this phone actually called. What? I thought it just played games and stuff. Oh, my gosh. You calling me? Yeah, right now. Let's see what Derek's ringtone is. You could judge a man by his... That's the standard. That's... Oh, that's no, like, it, that's not... It's pretty that's close. Not who's, the, who's Pipe Man Mick? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was not uh, standard. That ringtone is named Default. Oh, I got his. His call default. Tap yours. Yeah. Or are you? Or call yeah, I'll call. Back, you. I'll Derek. call. I'll call you, Bob. All right. Yeah, I'm right here. Wow. Ah! Just like Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh my if gosh! Derek don't call were, mine because I don't we have a new ringtone on this. If one we yet. were standing next to each other, we wouldn't know whose phone's ringing. You're yeah, what like, a bunch oh, of my phone, my phone. That's my. That's, uh, that's so About funny. 10 years ago, that would have been like a nice custom ringtone. Like, ooh, that is cool. <laughs> oh. I used to have that. I used to have those. I would download MP3s and use those. For, yeah. you know, customize them to who it was for. I don't care anymore. Just... But the... That's pretty funny that you both have that. Yeah. I love the, like, on Apple, I think they have a piano one that's like... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they do have that one, just, too. That's oh so, yeah, well, it's so loud and obnoxious. It's really loud. It's like, come on, they dude. have. I think they have dog barking, but I don't know if that's for text messages or for ringtone. But you can. Yeah, use, they've got. I think it lets they've you got use tons both. of them. Anyway, this so is. So today on Hey, we're talking. Yeah, we're talking about, we're not talking about ringtones. ringtones. <laughs> Top four hundred ringtones of two thousand seventeen. <laughs> okay, Bob, you you proposed this idea, so I want to hear you say what it is. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're just going to talk about um, kind of our top five Will Smith movies. Oh my god! Some of the ones, some of the ones that we like the most, or some of the ones that you know, I don't know, maybe our favorites or whatever. Um, the the reason I brought that up is because the other day when uh, my wife and I were looking through Netflix, ready to chill and everything, um, dude, you know, we I saw that that newest movie he has out. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that? What is that called? It's called I forget. Um, Right. Um, and, you know, I kind of thought about, well, maybe we should just talk about the Will Smith movies, even though I have not seen Bright, uh, but I have seen a lot of articles bashing the movie, and I'm not, I'm not even sure why. Yeah, I'm not even sure why. It's you know, been it's, critically panned. You know, what's funny is, uh, I was just looking at his IMDb, do you know what, you know what movie he's filming right now? Aladdin. Yeah, and well, who's he going to be? He's going to be the genie. <laughs> Listen, really? I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything, but how do you top what Robin Williams did in Aladdin? I mean, in a car, as a as a yeah, it's not going to happen. A live action Will Smith doing Aladdin. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Yeah, but it might be it might be like is it going to be like CGI enhanced? Is he going to is it going to be like a motion capture? I don't know, man. No, it's gonna I be believe... like it's gonna be like they did with Beauty and the Beast. It's gonna be live action, man. Did you like that? The Beauty and the Beast. I haven't watched it. My wife keeps asking me to, but I have not watched it because she loves it. But yeah, I have huh. not. And they did. <laughs> they did that with. Uh, they did that with Cinderella, and I think there's one other one. They're doing. Did they do? They're not. Aren't they gonna do the Lion King? I forget what they're doing. I, I, every time so, I turn around, I see that there's, Let's be I see so, there's going to be like so, a new Disney adaptation. So when you guys say live, whatever, that's where they la- air it live on TV? No, they'll be real actors instead oh. of a cartoon. 
Oh, live you're being, adaptation. You're so, no, you're, you're joking. That was not real. You're like, no, you're trying being, to make I'm us being, laugh. No, I'm being serious because didn't they just have a live one of these Disney movies or something that f- totally bombed and flopped live on TV for right around Christmas time? Yeah, they did a Christmas story yeah. on. But that uh, wasn't Disney. It was on, on Fox. TV. It was like a live musical, and I couldn't get into it. No, it yeah, was not I heard, great. I heard. Yeah, so that's why I thought you guys were saying like a live adaptation, so like okay, they'd actually sorry. try thought, to perform it live. Just messing with us. I mean, they no. did that with The Sound of Music a couple of years ago as well, and Grease, I think. I don't yeah, know. and and all of them. I I remember the Grease one. I didn't watch it, but again, I heard that one was a flop as well. So I don't know. That's why that's why I was asking. Obviously, uh, I'm not smart enough to know what a oh live adaptation God. is, like Scott. It's taking so, a cartoon and going live action, and so they the people actually play the parts live on a yeah. film instead of yeah. They did cartoons. Beauty and the Beast, and the girl who played on Harry Potter, was, Hermione, was in it. Yeah, Hermione was <laughs> Belle. Right. All right. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Favorite Will Smith movies? Top five favorite. I want to hear uh, Derek. I feel like you're going to have one right off the top. Or he, like he might fav- be looking like him up fa- right now. Like, like my favorite one, I, I think my favorite would probably have to be uh, Independence Day. Okay. Because he, well, you know what? 90s Will Smith, love it. Because you know, he plays that same character, you yeah. know, that, you know, welcome to Earth. You know, love <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Although he didn't say Earth, he said Earth. <laughs> <laughs> but that was so much better that you said it that way. Anyway, uh, Independence Day. I was never, I'm not trying to crap on it, but Bill. speaking of we spoke about Bill on the last show, he's really into the Independence Day movies, and I was just kind of like, eh. I mean, I remember when it came out, I, was, I enjoyed it in the theater, but. Is it true after that last uh, episode, your house was egged and teepeed? Yes, it was. Someone put I'm, a burning bag of dog poo on my front porch. I just, I don't know what happened. I don't know who would have done that after that last episode. <laughs> it's amazing. Bob, what's yours? Give us one of your top five Will Smith movies. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be it, Independence ha- Day, right? It, no, it, okay. it is really hard to kind of pick top five, but um, just because he has had so many good films. But believe it or not, I love the movie I, Robot. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I thought that was a, a good movie. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna th- toss a wrench in all this real quick here. I like the movie Focus. came out not too long ago. It was 2015. It's a heist movie, and I enjoyed it. It's not, uh, it's not amazing, but I enjoyed it. I'm not, just to be completely honest, I'm not a huge Will Smith fan. I don't dislike him, but if Will Smith puts a movie out, I don't go, oh my gosh, there's a Will Smith movie out. Then let me ask, why, if you open up that door behind you, why is there a Will Smith poster on the inside of that door? There's not. I saw it when I came over there. You're so it's, uh, Derek probably saw it too. It's right on I, the inside of that white door. All I saw when I went over to Scott's house was his dogs going at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is it. It was torture. Scotty, don't talk about that on your show. My mom suddenly became a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. All right, let's do nothing. one more Will Smith movie before we take a break. Okay, and I'll say, I was a, a big fan of Will Smith when he did his show, The Fresh Prince. That was yeah. that was the Will Smith I knew. And I, I got to be honest, I haven't seen too many of these, like, the... Will Smith of the last decade have not watched too many of those his serious roles haven't seen a lot of them but I will watch Bright and I might watch it tonight yeah. but if I'm not going to watch that I would probably watch this other film of his called uh, I don't know Men in Black boom not a fan of that one either <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. I wanna, so w- when we come back from the break I want to hear why you're not a fan of that because they had what three movies yeah. yeah two or three movies I'm curious why you didn't like those uh, I don't know. We'll find out when we come back. I like the first one. I, I I could not. I could completely get rid of the other two. True. I could get right. rid of all three of them actually. But 
jerk. Well, <laughs> tell tell everybody why on the, when we come back. When we come back. When we come back. This break we've been teasing for three minutes. When we come back. Fast, simple, and affordable. That's what registering your domain name with GoDaddy will be. Fast, simple, affordable. And if you listen to this show, Hey, We're Talking, you know you're getting a discount. 30% off if you go to trygodaddy.com slash HWT. Again, 30% off. All you have to do is go to trygodaddy.com slash HWT for 30% off your domain name and other business services provided by GoDaddy. Oh, you guys are so funny. I'm, they're they're making fun of me because I I heard someone like tap on my window. It wouldn't surprise me if it's my neighbor. He's been known to do that. Why would but he just tap he on your window? The, why would he come into the backyard and tap on the window? That's what's freaking me out. Maybe so it's a did, creeping marauder. Oh yeah, the marauders are <laughs> maybe terrible. It's one of, maybe it's one of those things from Stranger Things. Maybe it's a, a killer, a patch of, a herd of killer bees just buzzing at your window. <laughs> it could be the other neighbor said that we had killer bees. And I was Get like, your Red Rider BB uh, gun. And- did you did you leave a dog outside and it's no. the dog's tail hitting the, no. like, the door or something? It could be. Who knows? Gordy's outside. He's probably right outside the door. But it sounded That's- like it came from, although I have headphones on, so where, who right. knows where it came from. Well, it probably picked up in your mic, and you hear it right in your ears. No, so it you sounded it, like there's a window right there, and I've got all the lights on right here, so the whole window you can't see anything outside. So you have so you have windows there. So window from the windows right there to and the, walls. Then the walls, and then there's a door. <laughs> anyway, all right. So Will Smith movies, Men in Black. Why don't I like Men in Black? I am right. not a science fiction person at all. Well, not that's at all. Not really, that's not like science fiction. But I don't find that entertaining whatsoever. Men in Black, first and foremost, is a comedy. Yeah. Before, before you, and then it would be an action film, and then it would be science fiction. If, if you're going to rank the genres of this, of this film, it's comedy, action, sci-fi. Listen, I can't help it if the people made a movie and it didn't entertain me. What am I supposed to do? I can't l- fake it. Do you like Raise Tommy- your standards, Scott. Or lower your standards. Gosh. Do you like Tommy Lee Jones? I used to back in the day, but I'm not particularly a fan of his now. Huh. What? Cause, I mean, because that was my next thing was my joy for the Men in Black movies. I thought they were good. No, I thought they I'm, were fun. I'm not saying they're horrible. I just said I didn't. I wasn't that thrilled. But I told you right in the beginning, I'm not a huge Will Smith fan. Oh okay. man, I really I killed have, the room on those. Have either I of you were got, supposed to be positive this year? I'm, yeah, I'm not no being crap. Negative. I'm not even saying I didn't say that they're crappy. I just said I'm not a big fan. Have you guys seen Concussion? No, not interested. Why are you not interested? Because I think even though there's probably some good information in it, I think it's probably full of propaganda. Oh, player safety. Football player safety. <laughs> I know, but I, it's not. I don't know. Listen, you don't want to. If you don't want to know my opinion, don't ask me. Oh, I want to hear your opinion. I so told I can you my opinion. You can destroy it all you want. I bet you it's right. Bill. Speaking of Bill again, he's like, you need to watch Concussion. It's a really good movie. And he's more conservative than I am. Well, it's you know, it is based on a true story, right? Yeah. Based is the key word. Go ahead. Concussion. Well, all, so that's one of all, your favorites. <clears throat> Concussion is one of your favorite movies. No, I just asked if you oh. guys had seen it. Oh, sorry. I thought you. Were I, to I have it. not seen it, but I know it's the story about how, you know, the brain damage from violent sports uh-huh. is ruining players' lives after they're done with the sport. Yeah. Scott doesn't care about that. That's not true. Sacrifice your body, and consequences be damned. He just likes the uh, the entertainment value. <laughs> Regardless yeah, yeah, of individual's totally health. That's totally it. Um, here's a movie that I'm sure neither one of you guys enjoyed, but I did. Enemy of the State. I remember seeing that a long time ago. I think I liked it. It's a good movie. That's why. Yeah, I think I liked it, too. I just don't remember what this guy the puts, details were. This guy, Jason... Uh, dang it, I forget his last name. But he was Wagner. in the Mallrats movie 
uh, Kevin Smith movie. And then he was in, I think he was in uh, Chasing it's Amy. Jason Dagner. Yeah, yeah, Jason. Not Dagner. Jason Dagner. Jason, I can't remember his last name. <laughs> he is a skateboarder, though. But uh, And he was in My Name is Earl. Uh, but he put he knows Will Smith in this movie. He put something in his pocket, like a little USB drive or something that has secret stuff on it. And uh, then the government is after Will Smith, and he doesn't know why. But it's a good movie. And two um, guys, Gene Gene Hackman is the other person in it. Very good movie. Yeah, I do remember that one now that you you kind of enlightened me and reminded me that was a good movie. Have you guys seen I Am Leg- Legend? Yeah. I have not seen that one. It's pretty good. Is is Jason Lee in that as well? There you go, Jason Lee. Nice. Uh, no, he's not. In fact, it's just Will Smith and monsters and a dog. That's it. It's basically like a yeah. zombie movie, isn't it? Uh, it's like actually a considered a zombie. science fiction horror. Yeah. That's what it's considered. Yeah. It's okay. So It's okay. Um, Legend of Bagger Vance, anybody? Never saw that one. What? I seen that one. <clears throat> oh, dude. At that's least I'm not alone on that one. That's tough to hear. Yeah. And because I have to make it that I have no taste in movies whatsoever, I did like Hitch. You guys remember Hitch? Yes. I've seen I, Hitch, <laughs> yeah. I think. So I'm going to go back to one you mentioned in the beginning of the show because I think I remember it, but Focus. Yeah. <clears throat> was that that gambling one? Well, they 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 sort of there's gambling in it, but they they rob basically. A right, bunch of people. right. But it's about basically making more money They're and grifters. Yeah, yeah. So okay, I remember that one now. It's now, pretty fun. I, I I was staring at the the photo of it, and I'm like, I think I remember remember it, but I don't remember exactly what it was about. But yeah, that was a that was a fun movie too. Did you guys see that. Suicide Squad? Yeah. What'd you think? I tr- go ahead, Bob. I'll let you uh, overall, I don't think the movie was great. I was disappointed in the movie. I think it was just too gimmicky. Some uh, something about it I didn't care for. I did yeah, watch I, it, but just yeah. not. Yeah, I could get. I could not get into that one. I could not get into that one. And there was another movie that a lot of people couldn't get into, but I absolutely love it. Wild Wild West. Get out of here! I was gonna make fun of it because it was so bad. Yeah, you see, make make fun of it. That's fine, but I enjoyed it. Okay. To me, to me, that was a horrible movie. Wow. But maybe if I was down in Texas, it'd be different. <laughs> in small town Texas, it's easily to, right. It's a, easy to entertain people. I mean, oh, the, I'm like sh- Mama's I'm Family, sure. you know, the Wild yeah. West. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> yeah. so here, oh my gosh, see, <laughs> I keep going back to our Netflix and chill things. So, when my wife and I were clicking through. We saw one of the comedy specials with her and or him, her, no, her, him. Uh, and my wife's like, I want to watch that. Apparently, my wife is a huge fan of what? her. What? Yes. That's crazy. What are the odds? I don't know. So I'm just like, Derek was just talking about that. Him and his son went and this and that. And she's like, oh, he's so lucky. Ah. <laughs> just like, really? You're one of them? But <laughs> That's funny. Whatever. That's funny. You know what? Yeah. Nobody has mentioned Bad Boys. I was going to. That was going to be my next. I remember those action films. Very fun. Lots you, of fun. They're going to make a Bad Boys 4. Well, it's set, mm. well, technically it's called Bad Boys for Life, and it wouldn't be 4, would it? There was only 2 no, before so, that, right? No, so, so Bad Boys 3 is supposed to come out in 2018, which is this year, and then 2019 they're supposed to do Bad Boys 4. Hmm. Wow. You know they're going to do a Bright 2 already? Yeah, they said that. What? I mean, Netflix obviously has the money to do it. So There's a rumor, there's I, a rumor that Apple's going to buy Netflix. Yeah. Uh, ruin it. Good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> it ruin good it. Luck. What do you mean yeah. good luck with that? You know Apple's like the most profitable company in the universe almost. Well, yeah, I get that. Money's not the option, but I don't think they would I don't know. If I they just don't told they Netflix, hey, we're going to give you $100 billion, Netflix would go, okay. Yeah, but then you're talking, you know, then they'll start talking security and exchange commission and this and that. What and I don't know. What are you talking I don't know, about? I don't know legally if it would go through. Oh, it would. It would. 
But it depends on who 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 Apple pays off. (laughs) Who cares? cares? Anyway, I think we're running out of Will Smith movies at this point. Oh, no, I can keep going. I've got a whole list. Like what? What do you Um, No, Don't just read them. Ones that you like is the whole point. I'm a, I'm a sh- go ahead, go ahead, Bob. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I've talked enough. No, I I was going to say I'm ashamed I haven't seen Ali, which I heard is good. It is good. Yeah. But I did like, was it Hancock? Yes. I think I saw that once. That yeah. was a fun little was fun. superhero thing. You notice that now as we're talking about all these movies and I said, I'm not that big of a Will Smith fan. You notice I've seen all of these. Yeah, right. and you're like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. good yeah. But I hate him. <laughs> I don't hate him at all. Besides the fact that he's in the Church of Scientology. Beyond that, it's all good. Is it? Uh, Pursuit of Happiness was good. I remember was... hoping that was going to be amazing and then just being like, what is this? Well, I didn't say it was amazing. I said it was good. It was a, just kind of a, a heart, heartwarming story. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you need those flicks. Sometimes. I mean, you watch enough chick flicks, you should know. I know. I'm not I gonna... feel like Will Smith has tried to take a lot, of, take on a lot of these serious, kind of heartwarming, kind of films. And I, I don't. I'm not saying I wouldn't enjoy them. I just never. I'm never in that mood. You know, my heart is warm enough. Thanks. You know, I'm fine. I don't need to be uplifted or inspired or encouraged. From my movies, I want to be entertained. Oh, oh, interesting. I like that. And Will Smith does a great job of that as well. Thanks, Will. He's quite. If you want to be on the show, we, we'd be happy to have <laughs> That's you. That's true, Will Smith. If you want to be on this show, you just have your people get in touch with us. Yeah, or just, uh, or just if you want to sponsor the show for a couple mil, no problem. Just let us know. We'll yeah, he and Jada would about like you. that. Yeah, they they gave money to some basketball player that was addicted to the internet or something, didn't they? I don't know what you're talking. About. No, they they, they seriously gave like a million dollars to somebody who was go broke up with one of the Kardashians or something and is having a hard time. They gave him like a million dollars to stay off the internet, stay off of social media. Oh, is it the was, that? was Lamar, it Lamar? Was that Lakers player? Lamar Odom? No, it wasn't Lamar Odom who drug overdosed and all that stuff. No, it was somebody else. Ball. I'll look it up. Is it the ball guy? A, ba- a ball guy. No, there's a LeVar Ball or whatever that guy's name is. Lorenzo Ball or something like that. I thought he was a basketball player. Bob, this is the most crazy. I have no idea what you're talking about. And now he's got to look it up. So Derek, entertain us while he looks it up. Because we're going to wrap up <sighs> in about two minutes here. Yeah, I think we should probably do Don't that. Stick a look, fork in this. It's done. Look, the thing is, is that Will Smith, I think, is a great comedy actor. He's a great action star. And if we're going to get it, if, and you said you saw Bright, does it have plenty of action in it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Is there any kind of humor in it? Uh, a little. I'll take that as a no. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> but either way, if it's a good action film, I don't mind it. Uh, I know that and that it's movie a different got take. It's a different take on action, so it's it's worth a watch. I think. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll watch it. Bob, take us home. Tell us the 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 thing. Who did they pay? Uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith donated five million dollars to Tyrese Gibson. Tyrese. Amid a, yeah, amid a custody battle. Why would they give him five million dollars? He's in all those Fast and Furious movies. I don't know. Obviously, he didn't have enough money, so we don't have enough money either. So wow. it would be okay if they gave us five million dollars. We'll no, split it hitting. amongst. They they could have just given Tyrese four million and let us have the other mill, and we would have been fine. No kidding. Yeah, that would that completely would been... change our lives. Three hundred thirty-three thousand dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that would totally change our lives. <laughs> yes, it I could would. get new. I get new windows and new doors and new. <laughs> Why would you just move at that point? I I like being here. Oh, okay. He likes. I have family. I have family. I have friends. Well, I I don't have any friends. I have family. (laughs) (laughs) I have internet friends. Leave me alone. All right. (laughs) So, uh, on that note, don't move away from your friends. 
Unless it's too cold there. Then you go. Get out of it. Yes, which I'm ready to. Yeah. I just need $333,000 from Will. I Smith. would buy your Eric Ganey pipe with that. Yes! Price. There you go. All right. On that note, thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate you, and we'll talk to you soon.